Good day, Steelers Nation. Welcome to Steelers Nation Australia. My name is Adrian, the AI Talking Steelers robot. Thank you for clicking the video. Sit back, get comfortable, crack a beer, hit that like and sub. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. What was, Brian says, what was the best, the best and worst offseason move by the Steelers this year? Let's start with the, the, the best. What was the best offseason move this year? Uh, I forget what his first name is, but, oh, dude, how do I pronounce it? Siamalu? Sa yeah, I think it's Siamalu, yep. That's, yep. that's my the favorite guard. one. I, I, yeah. I watched some tape. Oh, dude, it's going to be a freaking dog. I'm telling you right now. Uh, I'm getting excited. Just, I, like, he, I don't know. He just seems like he's going to be awesome. Uh, worst signing? Uh, probably keeping Mitch. <laughs> I don't want him as a backup. I'd rather have kept Mason, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if that counts, but like, I just think keeping Mitch. I don't know why we're paying him so much if he's going to be a backup. Hey, I got a question for you, right? Yeah. With the Mitch stuff, then if they're going to try, because we talked about getting Broderick Jones or getting someone, you know, trading up that, up further. Yes, sir. Um, would they use Mitch as a trade value component to move up into the draft? I, I don't see why. I'm going to be honest. I think the three quarter or the four quarterbacks in the draft are probably going to end up better than Mitch. And like, I don't know. I don't see. I don't think people see him as a starter anymore. Yeah, right. He might be around for a long time then, because Omar Khan and and uh, and, and Rooney's were like, we like him. I like we Mitch. Wanna... No, I thought yeah, he was I, a really good backup. Yeah, they, they could they could have Mason, I think, for forever. But I, I honestly don't know what's going to happen with that position because, yeah, the Rooney's came out and said, one of them said, one of the owners said, you know, basically, uh, we like him. We want him to be around him for a long time, which is like, mm -hmm. oh, boy. So um, I'm going to give him another shot. But, yeah, if I hear anything, Jack Sperry, if I hear anything about competition. Yeah, we all know. I'm, I'm, I'm coming for you. Jack Sperry's big, uh, big Mitch guy, huh? <laughs> no, they're, they're just a big, they're just a big guy. They go for the, they go for the list of the, uh, the, this, the, the depth chart and go. Will this guy compete with that guy? No, he yeah, won't. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, he won't. Like it, it, it's, it's not a thing. Um, what Type was, the uh... H Y in chat right now, if you. <laughs> <laughs> so you said that. So the worst one was keeping Mitch around, right? Um, yeah, I kind sure. of agree with you there. C M L, I think was pro probably the maybe the best um, mm -hmm. acquisition there. I also probably say Patrick Peterson may be up there, but we've got to see what's going to happen if he's still got the got the legs. Uh, I, think I think Patrick yeah, can do it. yeah. I think Isaac Ciamalo. I think is probably the best one. Uh, but what will be the worst? The worst? I don't know if they've had a really bad. But I got my bias glasses on. G'day guys. So that little snippet there was from a live stream, and I was talking to Dante about the chance of Mitch Trubisky possibly being thrown in to the conversation of will Trubisky compete for quarterback number one start in Pittsburgh. It's not going to happen. I will double down on this. And if I see any, any media outlet, I will lose my head. If you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, you know right now that Kenny Pickett is the guy going forward to be quarterback number one for 2023 and hopefully 24, 25 and so on. He's the guy. There will be no quarterback controversy um, this off season. So, Anyone out there saying that Mitchell Trubisky could fight for his right not only to party, but to be quarterback number one and there's an open competition, they're either lying to you or they, they're, not, they're, they're not a real Steelers fan. They, they're just not. Trubisky is not there to play quarterback number one anymore. He had that shot. He gave it away. He had four games. He did nothing. He's there now. If they do keep him on the roster... Trubisky is only there to back up. That's it. That's the way I see it. That's the reason why they got Kenny at 20. It's the reason why they want to play Kenny. And it's now Kenny's team. It's KP8. KP8 is going to go out there and work, and he wants to win. He wants to be a Pittsburgh Steeler. He wants to bring success back to the Steelers. He wants to go to the playoffs. He wants to link up with GP and turn things around. There is no quarterback controversy this year going into the offseason. And I will repeat myself um, in training camp, mini camp, preseason. I don't want to hear it. This is KP8's team. That's it. All right. Thanks, guys, for checking out Steelers Nation Australia. And I'll see you later. It's KP8, mate. It's KP8, mate. I like that. It's KP8, mate. Let's go. All right. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go.